Hi, I'm Dr. Nathan Boonstra from Blank Children's Hospital, and I want to talk a little bit today about bronchiolitis, which is an infection we are seeing in spades right now in the clinic and in the emergency room and in the hospital as well. Now, this is a viral illness that hits kids pretty hard. It gets their lower respiratory system, the lungs. And I want to make it clear that this is not the same as bronchitis. Uh, bronchitis is more commonly in adults, whereas this is a bad viral illness in kids. And what bronchiolitis does to kids is it makes their lungs inflamed and it makes them make lots of mucus. And that mucus builds up. It makes them very wet, they cough, they have trouble breathing sometimes because that mucus builds up so much that it blocks their airways. Now, it starts out kind of like a cold. And a lot of cases of bronchiolitis can be treated at home. You can use suctioning at home, a bulb syringe, there are products out there like the nose Frida that some people love that might do a better job of getting that mucus out. You can do humidified air, um, but cough medicines are not a good idea. They don't help with this kind of thing. In fact, they don't help a lot with kids in general, but especially not for something like bronchiolitis. Nearly everybody during their childhood has some kind of bronchiolitis, and the most well-known virus that causes bronchiolitis is called RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, and that's the one you're probably hearing the most about. Now, the frustrating thing about bronchiolitis is that there's no magic way to get kids better faster because this is a virus the body really has to fight it off by itself and we have to support it. And antibiotics in particular uh, don't do anything for just regular bronchiolitis. So when you're treating this at home, Really, those supportive measures are the things that you can do, and you can talk to your doctor if the work of breathing gets worse, or if your child starts to get more ill or develops a higher fever. We're gonna talk a little bit in the next video about what it's like to be hospitalized with bronchiolitis, but if you need more information right now, check out the blog at pedsgeekmd.com.